So a little over a year ago, I decided to make two drastic changes to my workout plan and my dietary approach. I wasn't expecting to have the results that I had, but in the year that I was doing these two tricks, I gained 31 pounds of lean muscle, which is a huge accomplishment because I've been lifting weights and in the fitness world since I was 15 years old. For many people looking to put on muscle and to put on weight doing a bulk, typically what happens is over that course of a year, they get up really fat, they gain muscle, they gain fat, and then they have to end up shredding it down. And then you end up being maybe five or 10 pounds heavier in an entire year. But you have to go through the process of gaining fat, feeling uncomfortable, getting your physique looking like crap, not being healthy, and then dropping down to a weight that feels a little bit thin and lean. It's a yo-yo effect. In today's video, I wanna give you guys a step-by-step -step rundown of those two tricks, how I use them, and what I did over that course of a year with my workouts and my diet to gain 31 pounds of lean, fat-free muscle. Okay, so the first trick that I implemented was to focus on complexity with the upper body. Back in the day, I thought that if I just slammed intensity and volume day after day into my upper body, it will at some point grow. And it did, year after year, I gained a little bit of muscle, but at some point it kind of plateaued and just kind of stayed exactly where it was at. The problem was that I was just bringing more weights, doing the same exercises year after year, getting really good at them, and the complexity wasn't there. Here's the game changer, gymnastics rings. Bringing gymnastic rings into my upper body workouts each week made it dynamic and super complex. It put me at a very beginner level and it allowed my body to have something to overcome that I could not do that was skill oriented. And every time you learn a new complex skill on the gymnastics rings, there are new muscles on your body. So by combining focus days of gymnastics rings only with gymnastics rings plus typical bodybuilding, functional training and weightlifting stuff, it made my upper body gain more muscle, especially my shoulders and arms than I have ever been able to at any period of my life. Along with the gymnastics rings, I also stopped focusing on complexity with my lower body. I had it backwards. I was doing sprints and rollerblading and gymnastics and all sorts of different functional things for my legs. My legs were healthy and are healthy, but they were just lean and thin. There was no bulky muscularness to them at all. Over time, I had kind of lost my booty a little bit and lost my hamstrings. Um, so I started focusing on one thing and one thing only with the lower body, load and volume. So I switched up my philosophy, if you will. I kind of first learned this idea from Edu Portal. Edu Portal is a master of movement. And what he says is the upper body needs dynamic complexity and the lower body needs load. For workout advice, nothing could be more true. Um, stay tuned because later in the video, I'm gonna give you guys kind of a week by week breakdown of how my workout plan actually was. Just a nice brief description. Um, if you would like to see a full length focused video focusing only on my workout plan and the program that I ran during that year, because I did, I kept track of everything, I have everything programmed. Um, if you'd like to see a video about that, please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. Rob, show us your program for that year, I'd love to see it. Okay, and the second major trick that I did is I went from focusing on whole plant foods and a catabolic plant-based approach in my diet so instead, I took a 100% digestion, gut health, and hormonal focused diet. So I brought my fats way up, I brought my carbohydrates way down, I brought my proteins way up, and I totally manipulated my macros and the combinations of foods that I ate during that time. By focusing on the hormonal aspect, you're tapping directly into what will make your body change. More than calories, more than anything, if you are hormonally super healthy. Your testosterone is where it needs to be. Your growth hormone is where it needs to be. You're getting enough calories, enough protein, and plenty of fat, plus you're doing resistance training right. Your body has no choice but to put on muscle. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit briefly about my, my workout program, my workout design. 
Um, like I said earlier, if you want me to do a full length video, really fleshing out the full year and how I made everything work, I am happy to do so. Leave me a comment in the comment section. But my workout plan was pretty straightforward. I would do one workout per week where I'd focus on gymnastics rings, doing the full upper body, and then I would do a small, a short, maybe two to three set heavy squat session. So that'd be workout one. Then once per week, I would go to the gym and I would do a full upper body. So push, pull, everything, all the muscle groups, bodybuilding style workout. And that was just once per week. Then I would go to the gym once per week and do one pure leg day, focusing on ultra, ultra basic, mostly variations of squat. And with that, what I did on that single leg day was to do somewhere between five and 10 sets of squats, focusing on gaining strength, focusing on using as heavy as weights as I could possibly handle, and making sure that I warmed up very slowly, that I let myself recover for two to five minutes between every set, and that those sets were intense and heavy. Like I said, Edu Portal says that the body, lower body needs volume and load. Nothing could be more true. I stopped doing all the crazy complex workouts that I was doing, shuttle runs, plyometrics, and all I did was do heavy squatting for a full year and my legs freaking blew up. I got my booty back, I got my thighs back, I got my hamstrings back. And if what you're trying to do is gain healthy weight, then you gotta focus on the body parts that are the biggest and they can carry the most amount of lean muscle. If you're trying to bulk, if you're trying to get healthy and put on muscle and you're focusing on your biceps and you're focusing on your forearms and you're focusing on your calves and you're doing things like lateral raises all the times and bicep curls and toe rises and leg extensions, you're not going to gain any muscle at all. You gotta put your body under force, under tension. Again, you gotta make the upper body have complex, strange movements that's like problem solving. The upper body has to have complexity. And the lower body doesn't need much. Throw some heavy weights on your back, slowly squat them, and you'll be good. And then I did one last day of a gymnastics rings workout and then some kind of bodybuilding, weight training, resistance training stuff with dumbbells and barbells and things like that. So a little recap, a one day per week, gymnastics rings and squatting. One day a week, bodybuilding style workout, upper body only. One day per week, a lower body, squat focused, long, heavy day. And then the last workout was a combination of the gymnastics rings and the upper body bodybuilding stuff. That combination worked absolutely amazing. In the, and during the year, I did keep a four to five day split. Um, and like I said, if you wanna hear the full program of how I lined up the entire year, I did use progressive overload and I did use mesocycling. So I was very detailed with it. I was very data oriented with it. And I 100% stuck to progressive overload. And progressive overload works even better when you're doing complex dynamic moves for the upper body. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a few more details about the diet and how I made that role and how that developed such a hormonal response in my body. So I chunked my year into six months, the first six months and the second six months. The first six months I kept things really simple. I kept my overall grams of carbohydrates under 30 total grams per day. And that's not net, that's total overt carbs. So it was a very high fat, very protein, very carnivorous, very high keto style diet. Um, all I did was eliminated the plant foods that were questionable and that I wasn't really jiving with, I took out all the carbohydrates, and I focused on the best meats possible. Organ meats, um, grass-fed beef, salmon, egg yolks, really powerfully fat and cholesterol, protein-dense foods that are easy to digest and that repair the gut and they give you the nourishment and nutrients that you need to put on muscle. For the second six months, and this is where I had the absolute most gains, um, it was about 16 and a half, 17 pounds during that last six months, um, I changed my carbohydrate macros to 100 grams or less per day. So I upped my carbs slightly. What this did was again, it gave me more of a hormonal approach. It gave me more glucose to work with, which gave me more power in the gym doing squats and doing, doing the powerful movements on the rings. And it led me to really 
powerful, strong workouts while still being low carb, while still being really good for insulin, while still allowing my GH and testosterone to go absolutely nuts. I kept my fat percentage the entire year above 65%. It never ever dipped below that. Um, I did not have hardly any days where I cheated on sugary carbohydrates or had a ton of extra carbohydrates during that time that would have thrown anything off. So I was really strict with the diet. And here's the funny thing. I'm not someone who can consume a ton of food. It's just not in me. I don't have that. I'm not that person. Throughout my life, I've always been a healthy body weight, but to gain weight with ease has been super challenging. I can put on a little bit of muscle. I can keep the muscle that I have, but to gain the muscle on top of my muscle just doesn't work. During the year, I went from about 149 at my lowest to 181 pounds at my highest. Right now, I am holding on to the high 170s with relative ease. And the reason I bring up the calories is I did not keep track of my calories closely very much. Every once in a while, if I was just feeling a little off, I would check in with chronometer and always, if I was feeling off, lack of calories. So I satiated myself every day with calories, but I never really stuffed myself. I stopped when I was content every single day. So it wasn't the extreme high amount of calories that was driving my gains. It was what those calories were doing to me hormonally, plus the significant shift in complexity for the upper body and the significant shift in load for the lower body. Those two tricks combined were absolutely amazing. And I suggest to anyone who's stuck or starting fresh or looking to just throw a wrinkle in your workouts to gain some muscle, to break a plateau, give it a try. You can run this program with relative ease. It doesn't take much. If you guys have any questions about the details of what I did or how I did it, please leave them in the comment section down below. Also, if you'd like to see detailed videos about the program that I ran, the workout program that I ran during that entire year, let me know down below. I'd be happy to do a video about that. Same thing with the diet. If you'd like a little bit more of a detailed video talking about the weight gaining diet only, um, I do have a few other videos talking about general philosophy of gaining weight while being a clean eater. But if you'd like to know exactly how I did my diet during that year to gain 31 pounds, let me know. Also, if you're looking to get a hold of me to become a private client, there's a link in the description box for a free consultation. Click it and we can link up. You can also find me on Instagram as Stuart, Rob Stewart, but in real life, I am just simply Rob Stewart. It's the name my parents gave me and it's the name I'm sticking with. If you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and share. And if you're old to this channel, remember to hit the notification bell. Much love to you guys. I will be back with many more videos really soon. Bye.